Take a look at the following incidents that occurred during round 8 of the 2022 season. Do you think the MRO got these sanctions and no sanctions correct? Let me know what you think. Ryan Mansell from Richmond has been charged with striking Jack Ginnivan. This happened in the third quarter of the round 8 match between Richmond and Collingwood. In summary, he can accept a one match sanction with an early plea. Based on the evidence, the incident was assessed as intentional conduct, low impact, high contact. I think this should probably be more than one match, as I think it's a pretty dangerous move and it can lead to some serious injuries. I know he didn't make full contact with the back of the head. I think that sort of contact is definitely intentional and it has no place in our game. I know this is his first sanction, but I feel like we should try and stamp this sort of thing out of the game. I think that should be two weeks. Jack Redden from West Coast has been charged with engaging in rough contact, a dangerous tackle, against Jared Berry from the Brisbane Lions. This happened in the second quarter of the round 8 match between the Lions and the West Coast Eagles played at the Gabba. In summary, Jack Redden can accept a $2,000 sanction with an early plea. Based on the available evidence, the incident was assessed as careless conduct, low impact, high contact. This incident is classified as a $3,000 sanction and the player can accept a $2,000 sanction with an early plea. On the Saturday match between GWS Giants and the John Cats, Jesse Hogan goes to pick up the ball after a free kick has been paid to Toby Green where he extends the elbow and hits Jed Buse in the upper neck area. It was the view of the match review officer that Hogan's actions were not unreasonable in these circumstances, so no further action has been taken. Jed Anderson from North Melbourne has been charged with striking Andrew Brayshaw from Fremantle. This happened in the second quarter. In summary, Jed Anderson can accept a $2,000 sanction with an early plea. Based on the available evidence, the incident was assessed as intentional conduct, low impact, body contact. The incident was classified as a $3,000 sanction as a first offence. The player can accept a $2,000 sanction with an early plea. So what do you think of this? Do you think the MRO got it right? I think for the most part they did. I think the hit to the elbow to the back of the head of Jack Ginnifan was borderline two weeks. I still, I still wouldn't like to see that in the AFL. I think they should stamp that out. That's my thoughts. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching.